What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and we are currently parked on the side of the road on this somewhat busy highway. There's a lot of cars going by, but we are here to walk down that way. Where's it at? Where's it at? It's somewhere down there. There's a creek down there. And uh, we, we fished it a few times this fall and winter, but it's been a few weeks since we've been down here and we want to see if there are any fish still hanging around. Usually about this time of the year that kind of starts to slow down, the fish that were here have either, either been caught or they've moved back out towards the lake, but we're going to do our best to catch something. But one thing to note is that it is extremely chilly today. Yes, it is. It is and stupid windy. cold and windy. Yesterday, guys, you won't believe this, it was 75 degrees. Today, it's a, it's a balmy 40 with about a 20 mile an hour wind. So that's why we decided to not go out on the main lake in a boat and to try to, try to kind of get out of it down here in the woods. Um, but it's still cold. We just don't like it. I should honestly put another jacket on. This jacket, I've had this jacket for about like seven or eight years and it does not, it's not as warm as it used to be. Like, do y'all have any old jackets that just aren't warm anymore? Like, this is one I should probably get rid of, but I'm kind of a hoarder and I like it, but I should probably have one of my nicer warm jackets on. But anyways, that's besides the point. We're gonna go down there, throw some jigs underneath bobbers, maybe do some light double jigging. I don't know. We hope that y'all are excited to join along with us on today's chilly slab-tastic <laughs> adventure. If so, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get down there and let's see if we can fill the bucket up with some big old slabs. Let's go. Let's do it. MJ. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yay. Nice little fish to start off set of crappie. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. Under the bridge. Heck yeah. Not a monster. I don't think I don't know if he's gonna be 10 inches or not. We don't have our thing, Oh do we, we don't, do we? Dang, we'll have to give him the good eyeball test. That's a nice one. He's probably like nine and a half. Yeah, he probably is. Yeah, I'm we'll just go for the slabs. Yeah, we'll keep the slab crappie today. Way to go. Got him. That ain't a bad one. There we go. Nice little fish. Gonna be another one that's close, but I don't think he's gonna be 10, but we'll have to look over here and see. Okay, so on my tackle box, I have this mark from right here to right here, and that's 10 inches. And he's like nearly 11 probably. He's a good long guy. First keeper. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. Get him, Jay. He popped that thing hard, didn't he? Yeah, for a little guy. <laughs> All these cars driving over, don't know they're driving over a hot spot right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. For a little guy, he hit that thing really hard. Yeah, he did. Like I saw him hit it mid pop. Oh, gosh. So that's a second fish for you on the chartreuse jig. My hands are so cold. It is cold out here. It is quite frigid. There you go. That's two on the chartreuse jig, and I've got one on a monkey milk. Mm. Oh. Oh, I missed him. Dang oh, it. I almost had me another one. <laughs> Way to go. Oh, nice one. Oh, baby. Man, he got small quick, didn't he? <laughs> I know. He felt like a big one. Um, yeah, he's probably going to be too short. Yeah, definitely. He's like an eight and a half inch. That's oh. three on the chartreuse now. I might swap. Oh, he's You're got a little cut him. on his back, too. That, ugh. Poor guy. He'll be a big guy next year. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Got him. Yeet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He might do it. I think he's going to be a little short, though. He ain't going to make it. It's another small guy. <laughs> another small slab queen. Baby slab queen size fish. You've been catching a lot of small slabs recently, Jay. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Here's my monster. Double trouble. <laughs> Woo! That'll work right there. He might push it. He might. Uh, no, I don't think so. Dang it. All the slabs have been caught out of this place now. I guess so. <laughs> all that's left is all the nine and three quarter inches. I'm sure we'll find some. I think so. Yeah. 
That was a good bite right there. Oh yeah. Crushed it. However, I think he's gonna be another short guy. We've caught so many fish that are like nine inches to 11 inches this year that we can just tell by the look of them. And he looked like a nine and a half. -er. <laughs> There we go. Who did that thing so light? Big ones? Man, you don't get them on that first little hit? Yeah. There we go. Here's my second keeper. We moved upstream from the bridge. Bridge bite completely died on us. But that's a good one right there. Another good one off that stump. Come up here. I think he's gonna be a little short. I'm gonna go a couple casts later. We got ourselves another one right off that stump. As soon as the jig sunk all the way down, he bit it. Didn't even pull the bobber under, just popped it. A decent one. No one just slightly under, but he loved it. No one like nine, nine and a half. Got you. Oh, I'm about to fall in. <laughs> about to pull me in. Another decent one. He smoked it. Man, they're just like clobbering it. But then they're not the size I want them to be. They're still fun to catch, regardless. But we need them a little bit bigger. Looks decent. Made a swap back to my other jig. We got ourselves another nice little crappie. I got that monkey milk crappie magnet on there, but I think he's another one to be a little bit too short. That's a big one, JJ. Okay. Get that guy. I think he's a big one. Yeah, I mean, I mean, not nope. super monstrous, but. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a donkey. At first. Uh, he doubled it up. Yeah. It's a nice one. It's your first one on this side over here. Yes. Looks like he's been caught before and released. Looks like he got a little broke mouth. So somebody released him already. He's definitely not a keeper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> See you. Uh oh, Jay hooked up again. This one is definitely going in the bucket. Definitely gonna be a keeper. Look at him. <gasps> Don't lose him. Don't lose him. There we go. That's a stud. Finally. That is a really nice one. I gotta keep looking back and make sure I don't get bit. <laughs> That's a nice one. Oh yeah, baby. What a stud. <laughs> go toss him in the bucket and Took let's get some more. Took me long enough to get one to put in the bucket. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, it was a giant. Just... Sitting there. That's a good one. Get him. There we go. That's another good one, it looks like. Looks shiny. Looks like he's big body. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's just a shiny guy. It looked good, though. That's all that really matters. Feel good. Look good, feel good. Nice. But way too small. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't say way too. Not way too, but yeah. It's a like. A definite no. Yeah, definitely no. <laughs> Hard pass. Finally got me another one. It's been like 10 minutes since I've even had a bite, which ain't that bad. 
He's got some color to him. Yeah, he's pretty. That's the most colored one I've caught. This water is not necessarily the most clean looking water today. It's not super muddy, um, but normally the fish are a lot more pale and less colorful than this guy. He looks fresh. Looks like he came out of some clear water or something, but he's not gonna be a keeper. Gotcha. Swapped it up on him. <laughs> Popped out the little double jig rig, no bobber. And that's a fat, thick looking black crappie, but I think he's still gonna be a little short. Look that, he bit the blue and green guy. I don't know, that color worked out here. <laughs> Pretty good fish though. He's gonna be really close, but I don't wanna risk it. Uh oh, big boss got yourself another good one. Redemption. Still that's a nice one. one. That's definitely a keeper if you can get him in. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yes. There we go. Yes. Big boss got her another good one. Heck yeah. Let's see that guy. No doubter. No doubter going in the bucket. Nice. Nice white crappie. Oh yeah. Yup. Yup. Get him, Jay. Get that guy. Uh, yeah. Oh. 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 That's another good keeper. Heck yeah. <laughs> Two keepers in a row. The good ones come in waves. Nice, solid black crappie. I'm gonna change my jig color. I'm not getting no bites. <laughs> they like this one. They like that one. That's been the most consistent one all day. How many have we got in there now? Like six, five? Five Just ain't five. bad. We're only 55 away. <laughs> oh, Jay, what are you doing over here catching all these fish? I'm just catching Just, just them. slow and steady. Hey, it took me a while to catch them. Really did. But now you've gotten on some. Now I'm in a rhythm. You're in a good rhythm. And you can't stop me. <laughs> I think he's gonna be a little bit short though. It's right. alright. The streak has ended. Oh. Two keepers and a non keeper. I thought that that spot had been being neglected right there. <laughs> Boom, finally got me another keeper. I was like, where's the one spot I haven't casted at in a while? And it's on the inside between this big cypress tree and that stump. And like basically as soon as it hit the water, he was on it. Another good colored up black crappie. We've got a pretty even mix of species. It's like half of them in white crappie, half of them in black crappie. Put them in the bucket. Put my big fish jig on. Oh, big fish jig. <laughs> there we go. I just retied because <laughs> I got hung up and got stuck and I put my bigger chartreuse tube on. Jay's using one that's an inch and a half. This is a two inch tube and I'm trying to weed out these smaller guys, but it didn't work as y'all can see. It didn't work at all. But that was first cast of that thing. Chartreuse blue flake, two inch tube. Did him dirty. Dang, that was really close, wasn't it? Oh, that's a good one. That was right at the bank. Whoa. Nice. That's another good keeper. Oh, yeah. Good slab black crappie. Let's see that guy. Yeah, he was literally like right in front of me. I know, that's crazy. <laughs> Catch him right underneath my feet. Yeah. <laughs> Go one. Was that number seven? Seven or eight. Six or seven, eight, ten, twelve. I don't know. I don't know. He's a good one, though. We got a good mess. That's all I know. Hey, I got one. All right, I didn't know if I was gonna catch another one or not. He's not a keeper, but I definitely wanted to catch at least one more before we left here. Beautiful little speckly black crappie right on the edge of that big cypress tree over there. We'll give it like one more cast or two, but if we don't get any more. We've had a pretty solid day out here. Nothing too crazy, I think we kind of missed the overall bite window a little bit i think we were out here a little bit earlier we would have caught more but i mean we caught probably 30 fish <laughs> okay so we're just out here getting ready to leave and uh 
My man, what's your name again? Craig. Craig? Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Craig, Thank you Craig is a loyal viewer, ran over here and we, we did our first <laughs> signature right there. Yeah, on of the, the, the crappie holly Isn't that hoodie. Cool? That's awesome. Thank you guys. So <laughs> That's awesome. Much. I appreciate but it. We've been out here fishing for the last couple hours. We got a few fish in here. Not too crazy. You got like six or seven. Craig's been catching some over there. We've seen him smack a few. Yeah. But the bite has seemed to pretty much have, yeah. have died for us. So I think we're fixing to go. But dude, thanks for watching our channel. We really oh, appreciate you bet. it. Hey, hit that like, share, and subscribe <laughs> for me. Oh, yeah. 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 So guys, if anytime y'all see us out here, be sure to run over and say hello. I mean, we love this type of interaction. But dude. It's good hey, meeting you. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Thank you, Jack. Have a good day. You too. Thank have a good one. All right, guys, we're back here with you. We got the fish all cleaned up just a little bit ago. It's currently now dark, but I've got all the fillets in this bag here, and I have them um, battered up in just some flour and then some um, some Old Bay and some, sloppy, and some Sloppy Mama seasoning. Should be good on a nice cold night. We've got the old deep fryer right here. And uh, I've got it heated up to three, it says 374, which is kind of a random number, but, and it should be hot and ready to go. So we're gonna pull one of our fillets out. Let's get a look at it. Look at that. Super well coated. Oh yeah, and we're sizzling. I thought about testing it first, but I knew it was hot. So these baskets are really nice. You can put about six or seven fillets in. You know, these crappie weren't the biggest of the slabs we've caught this fall, but they were still some good ones, like look at that. Just good, hand-sized fillets. Super fresh, super tasty. But I need to get these here in the grease bath. I need to get the lid back on because it is really cold out here. I don't want my oil getting cold. But yeah, we'll let those guys cook in there for a little bit, get them crisped up, and we'll catch up with you once it's all done. All right, that's what we're working with right there. We only have two more fillets in the fryer cooking up, but those look fantastic. They look super golden and crispy, and I know they're gonna be good. But uh, we're gonna let these guys cook. We're gonna cook some fries. But I gotta, I gotta get these guys back inside because it is cold, and I do not want them to get cold. So we'll get everything else done, and we'll give it all the taste test. All right, gonna make this quick because it is quite cold out here, but we got our plate set, and we have ourselves a really good looking dinner prepared. So what we've got, we got our main course here with the crappie, and that is our slabby patty, as the slab queen coined it. We have one of those big fillets of the crappie. I've got some uh, some those refrigerated pickles on there, and I've got some hot sauce, some Old Bay hot sauce, and some Sloppy Mama dry seasoning. So that looks really good. And then of course the sides, we've got our golden delicious crinkle cuts, and then we've got some mixed turnip greens, collard greens, all that good yummy stuff. Look at it steaming, man. That is going to be Super yummy. Jay is running around with Cypress in the house right now, and our house is literally crazy. We've been reorganizing, redecorating, kind of moving stuff around, so it's just kind of a train wreck in there, and our lighting's really bad, so that's why I'm out here doing this right now, and Jay didn't want to come out here in the cold, which I completely respect. But anyway, let's get a taste test on this slabby patty. It looks fire. There you go, there it is. All put together. Let's taste it out, see how good it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man, that's like one of the greatest things you can make out of a of a crappie fillet. Man, it's so so good, especially with it being as fresh as it is. You know, just caught these fish, and man, I love cooking them in flour too. And you know, a lot of times you get like different branded you know fish fries, and they're all pretty good, but they're a little bit heavier. But just just for deep frying them in flour, it's a lot lighter, a little bit airier. And not so heavy. It's just so so good. And so I'm gonna get a bite of greens. I'm gonna get a bite of greens because they look good too. Let's let you know if they're any good or not. Here they are. That's good. Now I wish I could say that we actually grew those greens. I kind of slacked this fall and didn't get any planted in the ground in time, and it's been really cold. That's just the uh, those that orange can old glory seasoned greens. Those are really really good. If you haven't tried them out, definitely recommend them. And then, of course, we got a French fry. You know, a French fries, a French fry. <laughs> it's just good stuff. Good, solid comfort food. But anyways, I'm actually about to go restation back indoors where it is nice and warm and toasty, hang out with the fam the rest of the night. But just want to come out here, cook these fish, give you all the taste tests, show you guys how we were preparing them for dinner tonight. I know you guys love these segments on these videos. If y'all don't, feel free to let me know down in the comment section and we'll quit doing it. But I think most of y'all like the catch and cook videos. But 
with that, thank you all so much for hanging out with us out there on the creek today. Um, you know, we caught a lot of fish, didn't really get, didn't really catch that many keepers, but we caught enough keepers for a solid dinner. And that's all that's really important. And we had a lot of fun doing it. You know, we just, we just really enjoy catching fish. We really don't care how big they are. And if they're at least decent size, which most of them were, um, we have a good time. But anyways, if y'all enjoy the video, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button. Let us know down in the comments section if you'd like to see us go back out there, target some more crappies some big slabs. And as always, if you haven't done so already and you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future wild and crazy fishing adventures. I'm Cole Harkin and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.